In the world of software development, sometimes we move into a situation called the dependency hill. The bigger your system grows and the more dependencies you integrate into your software, the more likely you are to find yourself in this hell. With an application that has many dependencies, releasing new package versions can quickly become challenging as changing one dependency may have a cascading effect. So in simple words, dependency hell is a situation in software development where a project has a large number of dependencies and managing these dependencies becomes difficult and error prone. In this situation, it can be challenging to keep track of which versions of the dependencies are being used and conflicts can arise when different dependencies require incompatible versions of the same library. It can also occur when different libraries or components have conflicting dependencies on the same external library, causing conflicts and incompatibilities. This can lead to difficult to diagnose errors, crashes, and other unexpected behavior. And this situation can be particularly challenging in the large and complex projects with many developers, where it can be difficult to keep track of changes and ensure that all developers are using compatible versions of libraries and dependencies. So what's the solution? There are certain best practices which can help us to avoid this situation. And we generally follow these best practices in our discipline. So let's see. The first is use a package manager. A package manager can help manage dependencies by automatically resolving conflicts and ensuring that all dependencies are up to date. The second is use semantic versioning. It's a convention for version numbering that indicates the level of compatibility between different versions of a library. By following semantic versioning guidelines, Library maintainers can communicate which versions are compatible with each other, making it easier to manage dependencies. The third is avoid transitive dependencies. Transitive dependencies are dependencies that are pulled in by other dependencies. While transitive dependencies can be convenient, they can also lead to conflicts and incompatibilities. To avoid this, it is best to explicitly declare all dependencies rather than relying on transitive dependency. We can also use dependency injection, which can help to isolate the components from their dependencies, making it easier to manage and update dependencies without affecting the other parts of the system. And that's the best practice for all the time. We must avoid the FET libraries. FET libraries are the libraries that include many different components or features, increasing the risk of conflicts with other dependencies. Instead, it's better to use smaller, more focused libraries that have fewer dependencies and now are more easily managed. Use automated testing. Automated testing can help catch compatibility issues and conflicts before they become a problem in production. By running tests that cover different configurations and combinations of dependencies, developers can catch issues early and avoid the dependency hell. So these are the certain best practices that we follow as the routine practice of the software development now, and that can help us to reduce the risk of dependency hell and make it easier to manage dependencies in their projects. Now, while building dependencies in your application, and finally, I can say that dependencies will be there, but while building dependencies in your application, it is important to remember that if dependency specifications are too rigid, you are in danger of version lock, the inability to upgrade a software package without having to release new versions of every dependent package. However, if dependencies are specified too loosely, 
you will inevitably be affected by version from security. Assuming compatibility with more future version then is reasonable. So dependency hell is where version lock or version promise security prevent you from easily and safely moving your project forward. Both sides of extremes should be avoided.